Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Curse of Gaia. In the previous episode, we were working on making the Animal Rancher behind us, and through a mixture of fishing and tragedy turned victory, we were able to become rich, and we were able to build all these other buildings. Now you're probably wondering why I have a chicken on my head. What's that to you? Why don't you have a chicken on your head? Anyway, we'll get to that. So, lean back and relax. And I'll explain what's going on here. All right, let's start and visit Jim here. So we had a little accident here at the creeper. That's why they're all looking a little bit haggard. But fortunately, I didn't forget to melt my cow. Ay ay ay. Fine. Fine fine. Let's get our supplies here. Talk to our cow. There we go. You like that, don't ya? Make sure you get all nice and clean. Show me some hearts. And we'll milk the cow. Alright. You happy? I just milked the cow. Oh, he's not open. All right. Well, it's becoming night, so take a little nappy nap before another flesh king spawns. Cuz that was fun last time. Yeah, death in this pack is no joke. Which is actually something I really like. Death should have consequence. Says the fate alchemist who tries to cheek at the dark corner. But still, purposes of a game. I'm glad that has consequence. So we're going to wait a little bit for these shops to open here. Let's see, when is this one open? Oh, he's already open. Okay, let's check out the uh, fox's fowl here. Oh, Ashley. Let's see what we got here. How are you doing, Ashley? Poultry farm has been here for 300 years. What do you desire? I doubt that. I, I think I just kind of built, had, yeah. All right, let, let's shop. I got a ton of money. What is this? Animal medicine. Feeding tray. I don't know what this stuff does. Nest box. Chicken treat. Chicken feed. A chicken. On head after purchase. So if I buy this, is it on my head? It, it's... Hold up. Oh, dear. Hi. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I spoke with the nice Ashley here, and she uh, gave me a chicken, which promptly decided to make a nest out of my head. Let's see what she has to say. Chickens provide essentials for us. What can I help you with? Now let's chat. I love this place. Isn't it wonderful, Mr. Fox? Am I Mr. Fox? Who's Mr. Fox? I hope I get to stay here for longer. Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. We have been talking for like five minutes. <laughs> I was just, uh, never mind. Anyway, welcome to my poultry farm. My name is Ashley. Do you know how to take care of chickens? No, I do not know your weird chicken rules. Please tell me. Oh, so you don't know? Well, the first thing's first. You must feed your chickens. Got it. If you don't, they will get sick and stop producing anything for you. You can feed chickens by hand or with a feeding tray. Chickens like us need a bit of love, too. To show a chicken that you love it, just make sure you pick it up every day. Oh, this is going to be a lot of maintenance. You can pick up chickens by right-clicking on them. They love it! Just right-click on the ground again to throw them back on the, to throw them back down. <laughs> Splat. Feeding by hand also makes the chicken love you a bit more. Happier chicken will produce bigger and better eggs. Here's some feed. You can go feed this chicken and show it some love. Um... Where am I going to put said chicken? 
Good night. How? Oh, is it still in the head? No. All right, so I right chickens on head. Chickens on ground. I see. Okay. So chicken, chicken, take chicken feed. Um, I, I just, lady, I, I don't understand how this chicken works. Nest box. Well, I assume I probably need a nest box. I don't know why I would need the incubator feeding tray. Okay, let's buy that as well. And so this is a nest bot. Yeah, let's let's put chicken in house. Hopefully I won't hurt it when I walk into the door here. Whoops. This isn't good. Run. Okay, and down. Up. Oh. Um what is that? <laughs> okay. I have an egg. Where did the egg go? I picked up an egg. You all saw it. Oh, there it is. It's my egg. Good. Okay. Uh, incubator? Um, what does incubator do? Oops, sorry, chicken! Um, do I put the egg in the incubator? I, I guess that's what we do. Well, um, I, I guess, chicken, you just kind of chill out here, I guess. Um, Okay, uh, that's a chicken, everybody. <laughs> All right. The animals here are strange. So that's that. Let's see what's going on inside ye old general store. Oh, hold up. Oh, this is a cow, isn't it? Candace, you're new. Hey, Candace. I will surely find myself someone. Well, hello there. Aren't you just the cutest? I'm Candace. Jenny downstairs is the owner here. I'm just a ty tenant. I almost said tyrant. <laughs> if you need anything, just go and see her every day, except one Wednesday and Sunday. It's Monday. She also owns up on Saturdays. She told me to give you this. Tomatoes. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we're getting some more crops, which is good. And Jenny's bargains. So, I'm guessing, oh, there's Jenny. The store is best in town. What do you need? Uh, shop. My favorite animals are pigs, and my favorite fruits are cherries. Are you trying to give me a hint? So, I can get tomatoes, grass, wheat, corn, and onions. Chocolate! Buying that right now. Flour, cooking oil. Oh, there's more. Salt, rice ball, large egg, apples. Simple coin. Now what would I do with that coin? Does this have an upper story? It does. So this is where that one lady lives. Okay. I'll remember that we have some of the stuff in here. Ink sack. I kind of like this little area. I wouldn't mind having a small little bedroom like this. Might have to copy that design a little bit. It's kind of cool. And there's also stuff way down here. Oh! Joe. Ooh, you got a scary... Oh, you built this right into Greymark's dungeon, you... Ooh. You're a brave person. I... It's probably not too uh, restful down here, I don't think. Well, John, uh, talk to me. 
I could not be happier right now. You have weird tastes, but okay. Oh my, it's such a pleasure to see you once more. Well, you have fun doing whatever you're doing down here, John. Uh, Johan. Um, you, Johan creeps me out, guys. Just a little bit. I'm going to have my chocolate. I've noticed that Ulif here has some different things that we can get. A blacksmith and a mining hut. I want to get this mining hut. So we need a stack of wood and stone and some money. We got plenty of money thanks to those villagers. And we are very close to getting a stack of stone. So I'm going to gather those real quick and see if we can get Ulif to make this for us because that would be sweet. Hey guys, I'm very excited. It's time to check out Ulif. And let's get I want this mining hut. Gimme give gimme give that. Thank you. So how big is the mining hut? It's pretty good size. Maybe we can put that kind of on this this little outcrop here. I think that works. Let's see, let's uh, move it there. Did I do it? Come on, Yulif. There he comes, I think. Come on, Pokey. There we go. I just realized something kind of awkward. We are definitely close enough to the roguelike dungeon here that mining down is probably very dangerous. <laughs> At the very least, we're kind of destroying our dungeon. Oh well. Maybe that'll end up being a good thing. Maybe that'll serve a safe way down. We might be able to visit the floors using this instead of the dungeon. So I want to let him build this for a bit. And then once this building's done, we'll explore and see what we can do here. It seems like everything in this version of Minecraft, you have like the vanilla stuff. Like you still have vanilla chickens and vanilla cows. And then you have the harvest festival versions of each and this game seems to be designed to require you to use these versions instead so if we look at harvest festival here I'm going to kind of ignore all this other stuff for the moment but there's a lot of different ore so I think this is a harvest festival version of the metals that you normally mine out so I'm pretty excited about this thing here because this could serve as a way for us to get ores, maybe? Uh, they're never open when I show up. Well, let's let's look at it anyway. Oh, Brandon. You look like Frodo. Hello. Da -da 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 -da. Thank you, Brandon. Oh, what's in here? Nothing, just ever burning for it. Or furnace. Fur fur furnace. Alright, Yulif. Let's make us a mining hill next. That's That's a little bit different. I hope there's enough room for that. I hear things happening, but I don't see things happening. Well, I'll let you do your voodoo magic. <laughs> I guess uh, we're going to play the waiting game again, guys.
and we'll wake up with a little bit more food, with a little bit more money. Nice. Oh no! The chicken's hatched! Uh, hi baby chickens! Oh boy. Uh, uh, feed? Feed the little baby chickens? Feed, feed baby chickens? Feed all the baby chickens. Okay, we fed them. Hey, what? What's going? Oh, that's cute. Uh, I remember when I was a feared alchemist. I got my house is infested with little chickies now. Yay! <laughs> so that's how the incubator works, apparently. All right, let us check out the mining hole, the mining mountain. There's a door? Mine portal? YOLO. Going down. Uh. Torches? Can't see. What? Weird. Well, um, do I just, uh, wait, I cannot see, let's grab this random torch and go down here, ooh, pickaxe iron. Iron pickaxe. Alright, it's becoming apparent to me that I'm not doing this the, the harvest festival way. And so it's making it mad. So I need to go back out. And I need to find out if I need a special pickaxe for this. Yilith has a will, a will of steel. Just staring that skeleton down. That's a real man right there. Look, he's not even afraid. Well, he did just run to his house, but he held that gaze for a pretty long time. Feel free to die. Thank you. Okay, let's see. So we can get escape rope. Okay, we'll buy that. These are cosmetic blocks. Nice. All right. Cool. We'll we'll keep that so we can get out of there. Now, how do we mo <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. We we don't I I don't Oh, that's awesome. So I can actually tow these guys around if I want. <laughs> I might just do that. I can make little stalls for them. So I don't have to go chase them down. That could be cool. I might just do that. Alright, so he didn't say anything about anything. There's nothing special as far as what we have to do to mine them. We need to do this Harvest Festival way. And so I don't think we have a pickaxe. The when I was talking to the guy in the mining mound there, he said that you could jump and smash those boulders easier. So that tells me maybe we need a hammer. And uh, I know you can build a blacksmith shop. So maybe you get the hammer from him. All right. Let's make this thing. Blacksmith shop. Alright. Right there, I think. Yeah. Okay. Really giving you, Yulith, a, a workout this, this episode here. I'm hoping this blacksmith guy is going to give us the hammer. Because I think 
that's what we'll need to be able to get those rocks in the mine. Ah, and that's pretty much this city set up. A few other things I want to do, like uh, get it mob proof. I'm tired of creepers coming in here blowing the place up. Get it all nice and lit up. And I also need to make my own structure. I need to make a farm. Farmhouse out here. Let us see what the blacksmith has to say to us. People call me crazy around here for believing in dragons. But we're off to a great start. Uh, have you seen who you're talking with? <laughs> they'll see them when they reach the end. And they'll no longer call me a fool. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's how I get the animal brush. He's got all the tools. Okay, fantastic. So let's buy the hammer. All right, fellow rogues and alchemists, this is Brandon and I saying goodbye for this episode. We got the hammer in our hand, and next time we'll check out the mine behind us. As the day breaks, I ask you to not forget to check out Sassy Rogue on her side of the channel. She's doing a vanilla Let's Play, parallel to my Survival Stories 3 series. And also, we'll be starting a new one soon. We're going to dub it Flower Fridays. Batania Skyblock 1.10 Garden of Glass. So don't forget to check that out. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Hit that bell if you'd like to get notifications on updates. And I'll see you in the next episode. Antonio, are you following Muser's directions? Or are you just killing sheep? I'm just killing sheep. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> that freaking <laughs> grapefruit did it. Maybe.